basic all units in delivery process. Okay, so before I start the customizing, let us discuss uh, some more things about the uh, organization or units in the delivery process. Okay, so we have seen it before as well in the all customizing uh, topic, but let's discuss it again. Okay. Now if you see this picture, these are from the shipping point of view or from the logistic point of view. Um, th these are the org structure. This is the org structure and different org units you can see here. Okay, so on the top we have plant and under plant we have different shipping points. Okay, plant one, plant two, under plant one we have shipping point one and shipping point two. Okay, and here we have shipping point three and under plant two. Okay, so under plant we have a shipping point basically. Okay, so shipping point can be a good receive, receiving point or good issue point or it could be both. Okay, or from the same shipping point you sending the goods and receiving the goods or you can create a different one. Okay, one shipping point one for goods issue and shipping point two for goods receive. <coughs> Again, you can see this one on the top we have client and the client we have different company codes. Okay, under company code we have different uh, plants. Okay, so under, under 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 a company code, we can assign, we can create different plans, and we can assign those plans to uh, to this uh, <coughs> company code. Okay, and, and under plan, we have storage location. Okay, so storage location, nothing is like uh, storage location is the location where we um, we putting the stock. Okay, so we can have more than one storage location, or we can have only one. Okay, but this is mandatory. It should be there. You, you need to create at least one. So, for example, um, different type of storage location. For example, you can create storage location 001 for say uh, when the goods are received, but waiting for say testing or or the checking the quality. Okay, and then 002 you can use it for for the goods uh, that are already checked and uh, quality is okay, and we can put that in our stock. Okay, so you can create different storage location. I will show you some practicals in a minute. So, if I go to customizing, and here, hmm, Enterprise structure, definition. So first we have two things. We have definition, we have assignment. First we define them, then we assign them. So then we have um, material management, sales and distribution. logistics so here you can see you can create different plans okay for example if I execute this one define plants so the main plan we are using is thousand that's the one okay if I select this one go to details it got just address data like what is the address of this plant? nothing else okay so if you want you can create your own so it's very easy either select this and copy I can copy this and call it whatever you want. I will call it 99999. Okay. And uh, I'll just say 9000. And I will call it, say, plant, uh, plant Melbourne. Call it whatever you want. Okay. Press enter. This is already there, so I will call it double nine double zero. Okay, so with when you copy plant, the bad thing is, uh, yeah, now you can change the data as well. So I will I will give it a new data. Okay, uh, sorry, new address. So I will call it plant Melbourne. Call it this. Give it a new address, ABC Street. 33 um, XYZ 